Welcome, friends, to a new episode of Lineage 2. Grand Crusade on the Chrono server. I hope you guys are having a really good day. I'm having a really good day. Check it out, guys. I want to reveal. You can see all my skills. Look at my skills are different. Why? Why are all my skills different? Look at Aquitas. Boom! You guys probably might have seen her in some of my other series or around the server. Some of you guys have already friends with Aquitas. Some of you guys may have even picked up that it's me, but it is me. So you guys talked about a, uh, I, I've talked to a lot of people and say that uh, you guys need, uh, I needed a box. Uh, and what that, we'll talk about what that means in a minute. So. Without further ado, I hope you guys are having a really good day. If you are, please stomp the like button. And you're enjoying this episode. It really shows your support. It shows me that you're loving the series and you want to see more. And it's super helpful for you guys to let me know. And I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm following your suggestions. You guys told me that I needed to have an ISIS. So, I've got one. Look at, look at, look at. Check me out. I am an ISIS hero fan. Pretty cool, right? Super amazing. So, after level 95, which Clobber Stomp is level 94 and almost to 95, I'm going to need something to give me buffs. So, you guys mentioned I should make some buffs. Now, some of you guys might have thought that I was screwing around or um, that I was playing a different character and I was kind of giving you guys a hard time. I apologize for that. I didn't want to reveal the secret just yet. So, for those of you guys that have played with Aquitas and you didn't know that it was me, I apologize sincerely. But thank you. Thank you for partying with me and being nice. I appreciate it. You guys have been super helpful. But yeah, so these are all the skills we have. Um, I just, I wanted to pop into this account and show you guys that I am taking all your suggestions seriously and that I am doing everything that I can to help my character succeed. So, um, now, uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. You'll get notifications on when we are uh, doing more things. Uh, let's, let's get out of here for a minute and get to a, a nicer area to listen. It's like, <laughs> so look at very tantalizing here. Let's get rid of this. Boom. Look at that. Look at the outfit, right? Holy moly, guys. I never decided to play a chick until now, so that's super cool. Like the outfits. Holy man. That's like, that's like super inappropriate. <laughs> so, all right, guys. So a box. What is a box? A box is a character that you use to help uh, your main character. So I made an Isis to help supplement uh, Clobber Stomp. Uh, so Aquitas is Clobber Stomp. It's just a second account that I made and I leveled up to 86. Uh, we're going to continue to level this character. So we may pop in and out of episodes with this character. I don't have the best gear. I've got Paulina's, you know, the Paulina set you get from, you know, finishing and awakening and all of that. So uh, we may or may not subclass with this character. I don't think so. Um, maybe, maybe not. If we do, I, I don't really know. I'm not sure. Um, maybe you guys can give me some tips and pointers on what I should focus on with this character. I'm thinking that I should probably just focus on getting it all the way up to um, as high as I can for the skill aspect of it, right? So getting all my top level skills that I can get, like 101. You can't get any more skills after 101. So trying to get this character to 101 so I have a really good... Um, Isis uh, buffer for us to help Clobber Stomp when he's starting to get up to level, you know, 100 and stuff like that. So I did take your guys' suggestions super seriously, and it really, it, you know, I wanted to let you guys know that I am following what you guys are saying. So uh, one thing I don't have is I don't have a clan. So if some of you guys are in a clan, um, I don't want to put this character in my main, in the clan that I'm working with. Um, pro PVE. I think I want to, might want to try my hand at some other clans or um, not that I'm not unhappy with them or anything like that. I'm super happy with them. They've been super helpful and I really enjoy them. But, um, you know, maybe just to give me a chance to meet some other people, do some other things and help out. Um, here's one of the reasons why I started doing this. One is because you guys told me to and I need it. 
Um, and two, here's here's another major reason why I started building this character. You know, when you do these, look at Isis. You, they're oh, everybody in these these parties is always looking for an Isis. Always, they're looking for an Isis or a healer. So when I talk about how I don't know whether or not I'm going to uh, subclass with Clobber Stomp. Uh, if I'm going to dual class with uh, the Cardinal or with the Archer, uh, the Silver Ranger right now, I, I really don't know because I I'm torn because I really think that um, leveling with my healer is a good thing because you always have parties. People are always looking for healers. Every time I come on and I'm looking for a party and I want to go do um, a Cartia or any other instance, we're always waiting for a healer or waiting for an Isis. It's just, that's the way it is. It's always, you know, so it wouldn't be a bad option to go. However, it's a slow leveling dual class. However, it's super helpful later in the game. So I struggle. That's why I always struggle with it. So I figured I'd pop into this account, show you guys that I am Aquitas. This is the major surprise that we were talking about. Some of you guys are like, that's not a surprise. You're an idiot, Clobber Stomp. Now, um... It's a minor. It's it's a little bit of a surprise. I, I wanted to show you guys that I've been working hard and I, I was following your guys' suggestions and all your comments and I wanted to let you guys know that it's paying off. So it's I, I'm doing all the right stuff. So I think we will go jump into Clobber Stomp and I will catch you guys in a few minutes. All right, guys. Yes, we have ourselves a box. Aquitas is going to be helping us out as our second account. So when we get over 95... Uh, we will be able to get our own buffs and check it out. So we've got 93%. So that's pretty awesome. I am almost through to 95. So it was a good thing that we got her up to 86 already. So I'm going to continue to level her. We may pop it in, in and out of that account from time to time, but I'm not quite sure how we'll handle that. But um, So that's going to be a lot of fun. I did enter the Ceremony of Chaos. And we'll see if we get to that, we get to that. <clears throat> if not, we don't. But I do have my Ceremony of Chaos deals here. So um, I'm going to get my attack and defense on. I have those ready to go uh, when we log in. I think I'll pop my momentum as well right away. Just in case. If we get started, we get started. If not, you know, great. So I am, I don't know, I think the last time we did this we were level 90. So we're four levels ahead. Uh, we might be able to fare a little bit better. I haven't done very well uh, in the past, but we'll see if anything has paid off. Um, I am missing soul shots, so it'd probably be a good idea to get some of those before we actually enter the dang arena, or we're going to get messed up anyways. Let's get some. So, private warehouse. Ooh, claim and I... All right, so... That's not for that. And these are all mysterious. I could probably hold them all. Um, let's just take 10,000. Oh, nice. Good job. Good job. 10,000. All right. Cool. All right, we're good now. Sweet. Perfect. Uh, we're okay. So if that does start, we're going to be good. Now... Um, I did do both of my uh, Cartillas for the day, and so I've got pretty much the max amount of XP that I can get. I do have a few more Vitality Points for the week. They will be replenished next Wednesday, so I am a little bit out of that. So we're going to have to check out Magmeld and uh, Fairies in those areas and see how well we're going to do there. Whoa, look at that guy's weapons. Hey, man. I like your weapons. Those are fancy, fancy. Oh, oh, here we go. We're going to do it. All right, so I've got, I popped them all. All right, let's do it. We're going to do it here. We're going to see how well we do. How long do they last? 10 minutes, 9 minutes, 6 minutes, 13 minutes. Okay. Nice. We're going to rock our rolling thunder straight away. And let's move this over here. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. You want to go? 20 seconds. Guys are going down. 
You're going down. I'm gonna I'm gonna kill some people today. It's gonna be amazing. Let's see what we can do. I'm not gonna I'm not sure, but we'll see if we can we can fare a little bit better. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Ceremony of chaos. Damn it. I was like the first person out. Well, I actually didn't die in one hit. I, I mean, I had to get beasted on a little bit before I died. So there is that. Can I leave? I, I have to listen to this whole dang thing. Oh, that guy was cool. He dropped some like super mega bombs on that guy. Let's get a better look. Oh, peace out, buddy. Yeah, you didn't make it. I don't really know. I'm I'm probably doing something wrong. Or these people are just all in the hundreds and I can't I'm sure I I'm sure I can't even compete. I don't know. One thing that you it doesn't say is what they're it doesn't tell you anything about them. But this person has the buff, Ceremony of Chaos, they've done those. So I, I'm taking steps in the right direction, I think. But these people are pretty beast. Look at I mean, they're just fu fire and look at them. Yeah, like I lasted 10 seconds. Look at that. Really bad. It's all good. I mean, I'm learning. Maybe you guys know. Um, I didn't get any kills. Most people didn't get any kills. There's a few that got them, but... Um, wow, interesting. So, I think I just have to get much higher level and maybe get some R95 or 99 gear. Um, I did talk to my clan today about my... What did I get? Did I get stuff? I think I got some stuff. So, uh, tournament. You've earned Tournament Remnants 2. Oh, what's that? Oh, I'm not even wearing one of my jewels. That's cool. Dang it. Um, I'm not sure what these remnants are. Is this still all jacked up? Yeah, it's still all jacked up. I look ridiculous with it. Um, I don't see the remnants, but I got more marks of battle. So that's okay. We're, we're learning. You earned tournament... Remnants 2. Vitality is applied. Is this a quest thing? No. I'm not quite sure. I got a Lessium powder, but that's that was from before. Um well okay. That's cool. No big deal. We're learning. You know, we got things going on. That's alright. So yeah, I forgot what we were going to talk about today because I was so excited about doing Ceremony of Chaos. But I figured I'd talk to you about, um, I got the Divine Pack. Um, I know that we kind of talked about this once before, but look at, I've got, I've got these uh, dies here that are super helpful. You know, plus five strength. I've got the L Lin Linvior's Earring. Crazy amount of stuff. I've got the Blessed Antharis Earring, super amazing. Um, blessed Velaka's Divine Necklace, really amazing. I've rocked these for like 15 days now, so they've been really helping me out tremendously. Actually, let's get, can we turn that off? Okay, we're good. Um, Mysterious Herbs, yep. Um, I've got the Tauti's Ring, um, pretty decent. I got Earthworm. Heart ring. Now, if you go look any of these particular things up in the auction house, they're crazy expensive. So it's really cool. I've also got the Venier's Talisman, which improves all of my stats, which is super amazing. And we got the Talisman of Abundance. So these ones are not going to go away after 30 days. Uh, the Ruler's Authority, that's going to go away. But this is also given to the winner of the Ceremony of Chaos. Now, I am nowhere close to winning, as you guys just saw. 
Uh, one equipped, max HP, MP, and CP by 1,000, and my weights increased by 25,600, and damage by 8%, which is super amazing. Um, yeah, pretty good stuff. Um, we don't, we're not going to be getting rid of the adventure bracelet. So some of the stuff we're going to get to keep, some of it is going to have to go away. And then we've also got the Agathion Twinkling Pisces. So we can teleport to Aiden Rune, um, at any time we want, which is super great. Um, but that's going to go away too. Um, now I did talk to my clan about thinking about upgrading armors to plus five, or I mean, uh, to an R95 or R99. Uh, they mentioned to me that it would probably be best if I could get this up to plus 8. And then I should be okay to save for my R99 stuff. Um, and I think that's probably a pretty good good deal. So I'm probably going to trade this up uh, for, if I can, for plus 8 um, as well. And then I do need to focus on trying to get myself either a staff for my cardinal or probably a bow um depending on which one we're gonna dual class I, I you know i'm still struggling with the dual class guys i don't know which one to be because it's so you know if you go into the party you know you go look for a party look at healer isis healer isis looking for well that's that's amazing that you just only need a dds um looking for healer looking for isis looking for people um healer Looking for strong DD. Oh, I can do that. Oh, I'm not 101. 95 need. All oh, that one obviously just started, but I can guarantee if you wait a little bit, the person that they're going to be waiting for is a healer or Isis. It's just part of it. So, you know, but if we do that, then we're kind of stuck to leveling with a party. And I really enjoy being a solo player. I mean, I like working with my clan and stuff, but I do enjoy being a solo player. And that's not going to work out real well for me if I'm a healer, right? So all things to think about, um, I'll probably, I don't know. Ah, oh, man, I'm so indecisive about it. I just don't know which way to go. Silver Ranger or Cardinal, just I don't know which one to duel. So I'm not sure. Maybe you guys can give me advice on that. What do you guys think? Um, I'm thinking long-term and end-game stuff, you know, what's going to help me out more later. But, ah, oh, man, I don't know. It's tough. So, all right, guys. Oh, here, I want to show you. You know how in the last episode, or the first episode, <laughs> la it is the last episode, but the first episode, uh, we were, w the, the the body, my body kept going behind myself. Here, I'll show you where to turn that off. So in the options, and you go to configure, tracking. Turn off tracking if you, like, that's a change. They added this, and if you watch, so if we go here, and I click over here, the camera wants to snap to you. It's just I don't I don't like it. So um, I went into the options and I turned I turned it off. Oh, I didn't save it, so that's why. So here I'll show you what it looks like. Apply. So if we do this, see how my camera automatically gets behind me. So I do this, and then I click. It it automatically tracks the player wherever I'm running. So if I go over here, if I click, see it pins me back to the behind me I don't I don't like that so if, for those of you that are old school players or been playing for a while and that they turn that on you don't know what that is it's tracking just turn that off and you can read it. it says match point and a moving direction no I don't like it Ugh, Ucky. so all right guys I hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please stomp the like button I know I guys I gave a few of you a little uh, uh, a little hard time with Aquia Toss. You guys leveled with them, but um, I apologize for that as always. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please stomp that like button. And as always, don't forget to like and share on your favorite social media. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.